carnage continues in the law enforcement community. These two deputies devoted their lives to keeping us safe. Now they've fallen prey to COVID-19. None of those exercises, none of those exercises prepared us for this. 34 years of preparedness for a crisis, and Wayne County Jail Chief Robert Dunlap says they weren't ready. This is now our second member who we've lost uh, to this uh, evil virus. Wayne County Sheriff Deputy Dean Savard, a 16-year veteran at the jail, tested positive for the new virus on March 27th. He died Friday afternoon. Corporal Savard, he worked with our officers in the medical unit, and it was very difficult for you know, all of them to, to make it through today, but we got through it. He's described as a professional who never had a complaint on the job. Commander Collins with Wayne County Sheriff's Office, also a victim of COVID-19. He was on the force for nearly 30 years. The 63-year-old leaves behind a wife and three children. I last talked to Commander Collins right before uh, he was put on the respirator and, you know, we laughed and joked with each other and had a good long conversation and, and then the very next day, uh, you know, that, that all changed. Uh, he was on a ventilator. 65 members of the force have tested positive for the coronavirus. Meanwhile, Michigan State Police offering their condolences in a tweet. Retired Sergeant J.J. Smith died from the coronavirus. His wife, Gloria, also a victim of the new virus and died last week. Dunlap says deputies are concerned about bringing the virus home. They're worried about taking it home as well as worrying about doing their very best to uh, not come in contact with the virus. It's a very tough time, uh, but we are some very tough people. Corporal Savard's family too distraught to speak with us on camera. Their message, stay at home, stay safe. Of course, our condolences go out to those families impacted and the men and women with the Sheriff's Office and MSP. I'm Rudy Harper for 7 Action News.